Sports fans in Metro Detroit, in Michigan and beyond, welcome into the 7 Sports Cave. I am Brad Galley, a sports director here at Channel 7 within WXYZ and WMYD. Um, we are so excited to uh, be doing this with you. I love opening up cards, um, have done it since I was a little kid. The trading card, sports card hobby is absolutely booming. And um, I want to share with you tonight, we are opening up brand new from Panini, Mosaic Football Cards. Um, this product, if it's not the hottest product on the market, uh, it's right there near the top. It's unbelievable what the card industry has done. I'm going to go right now and share um, a story that we have done on the card industry booming. We're going to open these up with you live, um, and I want everyone to join in and be a part of it. Here we go. And we've got Mosaic here. So just to let everybody know, two autographs per box on average, 10 packs per box, 15 cards per pack. I want everybody who's watching, if you feel inclined, uh, to let me know where you're watching. Drop your name in the comments. Let me know. I love interacting with everybody um, here on Facebook as we do this together. And let me share it um, so everybody can jump on board and be a part of it together with us live. We're opening up a hobby box. We've got Andrew jumping in saying, hey, Brad, first time, long time. Andrew's always on with us. Hefe's with us. Teresa's with us from Dearborn Heights. Um, this product has Tua. It has Joe Burrow, DeAndre Swift, Justin Herbert. All of the top rookies that you can think of, they're in here. And they've got autographs. Hobby exclusive, stained glass and swagger inserts. Fifth, you get five silver prisms, 15 mosaic prisms per box. Um, 200 base cards within the entire set. I mean, this thing is jam-packed with a ton of great stuff. Uh, Lori says it looks like hockey. Scott says he's watching from Pontiac. James is watching from Ferndale. Um, thank you to everybody who's watching. And I want to get it started. Um, for people that are just jumping on with us now, I see the numbers are picking up. Um, Brad Galley with you here inside the 7 Sports Cave. We've got Andrew watching with us from Royal Oak, watching with his dog. Oh, big dog. That's good. Um, I want to tell everybody, this is from uh, a new product from Panini called Mosaic. They've had it in basketball. It's absolutely gone gangbusters. The prices on some of the Zion Williamson cards, John Morant, Ray's watching from uh, OKC. Um, Panini is doing some revolutionary stuff. They are selling directly from their own website, but we always like supporting local. And I want to start this off by saying um, Steve at Rochester Sports Cards and Memorabilia is a friend of the show. Um, he's a friend of the community. He does a lot of great work in downtown Rochester. He is a philanthropist. He's a good man. He's a guy who this is his second career. Um, if you're looking for cards, if you're just wanting to get into the industry, if you're a big time collector, Rochester Sports Cards and Memorabilia, they do it right. They do a really good job. Um, I always recommend going and seeing Steve and feeling out where you are in your collecting life and, uh, and, and going to him. Uh, Connie wants to know, Brad, is this all you do? I am a sports anchor and reporter. Yesterday I was at Ford Field doing a story on the cutouts that they have at Ford Field for the games. Um, we talk sports all the time, but before the Lakers and Nuggets really get going here and before the Tigers, well, it's already a 3 nothing game, um, really get out of hand. I thought we'd jump in and do this and have some fun. El Marie's watching from Detroit. These are what you can find. Uh, Leslie's watching from Wolverine Lake. These are what you can find at retail outlets like Target and Meyer. Problem is you're not going to be able to find them very easily. Um, we're getting lucky every once in a while where we pop into the stores. If I'm getting groceries or something for the kids, um, these are on the aisles. But you've got people now waiting, and then they get them and flip them. It's a business model out here. Uh, and Andrew Kristoff is saying dibs on the Brad Galley cutout after the Lions season. You can't use it as a dartboard. So here we go. This is the hobby box that we're going to open in just a few moments. We're going to get our uh, appetite, I guess, sufficiently at least a little, you know, wet our whistle here. Um, and Alex is saying that the shelves are usually empty. We're going to open up some of the retail products. So again, the odds of getting something big, not as, uh, not as good here. But in the retail, I think this is called the, uh, the bonus pack, multi-pack uh, deal. The retail exclusive, the pink ones. Um, and Ken Kant's asking if there are any Patricia cards. I don't think there are any coach cards in this product. You're getting two packs and then a bonus pack. And I, this is the, the, re the retail uh, multi-pack exclusive with the pink... Um, parallels in here so we'll open up the first pack Patrick Mahomes is on the front great guy to do it has he been fantastic or what oh you say you're gonna put my cutout on the hockey net Andrew on the shooter tutor so I mean the second card we're getting here you can see just the Herman Moore throwback what a way to start it off we got Michael tagging his friend Kevin jumping in here and watching uh, but then you go right into some of the big guys 
Josh Jacobs, the first round pick from the Raiders. Ben saying mosaic. I know, it's crazy. Uh, we got our hands on some and we're opening it up. NFL debut, Jordan Love. We're opening up retail first. Ryan's jumping in and watching. Uh, Jordan Love, NFL debut. The rookie card here from the Packers. And uh, Jerry Judy, rookie card from the Broncos. So an insert rookie there of, uh, of Jordan Love and Jerry Judy. This is the retail that we're opening up. And then we're going to hit open um, the hobby box here in just a few moments. Shannon, what's going on? Great to be with you tonight. Again, everybody, Brad Galley with you here from the 7 Sports Cave. want to say thanks to people that don't normally jump on and do this, but uh, we've got some football cards to open tonight, and we are excited about it. The hobby industry is absolutely booming. I put a link in this Facebook story already, uh, this live Facebook Live, to show you a story that we've done about the industry booming, and this is proof of it. You can see the amount of people that are watching us with us live. Um, I always enjoy reading your comments. So as you go through it, feel, feel welcome to, to drop some comments in here and we'll stay and interact. Amari Cooper, again, this is what the base looked like. This is a nice one. So we've got a prism parallel. Jonathan Taylor, the Wisconsin running back with the Colts. That's a nice looking card. And this is out of the retail. We have not even hit the hobby yet. Guys, here we go. Uh, got game insert, Ryan Tannehill. He's been fantastic for them. Barry Sanders Hall of Fame card. How neat is that? John's jumping in saying, sweet. Ryan says, booming, can't find cards at Walmart. You can't. It's, it's crazy. Uh, Ryan says, checkerboard. Nice. It is the prism there, right? Barry Sanders. That's a nice looking one there to start off our first two packs. And if you didn't watch our story today on 7 Action News at 5, um, we went to Ford Field and we were at the cutouts that they have there. And Barry Sanders has one. Andrew wants me to put on the Lions helmet. I'm not going to do it. Uh, Matt is jumping in saying, hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing well, too. And he's saying, thanks for doing these videos. I love doing it. Leslie's jumping in saying, Barry! So the pink parallels, um, Denzel Mims. Nice looking. Scott wants to know, can any of these cards beat his Michael Jordan baseball card? Scott, let's see it. Lori says, Barry. Uh, George Kittle's in here as well. You can see why these are so popular. I mean, when we were kids, right, the hologram cards, the holographic cards... That's what everybody thought was cool. The autographs and memorabilia that are in here are absolutely nuts. Um, and so here we go, the main event, the Hobby Box. Patrick is watching with us tonight. So we're going to get back in the Hobby Box here. What do I have to open it with? I guess I, that was kind of an afterthought as I came up here. Brad Galley with you inside the 7 Sports Cave as we crack open this Hobby Box of Panini Mosaic football cards. Um, if it's not the hottest product in the land right now, tough to find what it could be. So here we go and get rocking. And Ryan says, yes, all of them are better than the Michael Jordan baseball card. But you know what? Every collection has different value around what it's worth until you start selling it, then you can start to see. So it's a unique box. I'm trying to treat them delicately here. Uh, Chris is saying, hey, he wants a Gardner Minshew or a Joe Burrow. Joe's watching. So here's what the product looks like from Panini. It's mosaic. We're getting two autographs in here. And what's really cool They've slimmed down over the years uh, and have said that, you know, with fewer cards, you're just going for the hits. 15 cards here. Jason's saying, stop talking, let her rip. So let's go. 15 cards per pack. We've got 10 packs, two autographs per box. Let's go. Second card in, it's Matthew Stafford. Lions quarterback, second card in, first pack. Cole Beasley, Jared Stidham. Had to put him in here just in case he got the start. But how great is... Cam Newton been for them, huh? Jason saying, calling it now, you're getting them homes. We'll take that. First pack. First autograph. Darrington Evans. Tennessee Titans. It's a prism rookie autograph. So they are stickers, but you can see how nice these looking cards are, man. Bridget's watching. Connie's watching. Thanks for being with us. Drop us a comment in here. Let me know where you're watching from uh, as we open these up in the 7 Sports Cape. Brad Galley here with you. Um, so there it is, Darrington Evans. Our rookie autograph here. Two autographs per box. Andrew says dibs on Stafford. But as we get in here, these are some of the inserts that are really flying and going nuts. Aaron Rodgers. The prism checkerboard. That's looking pretty nice. Ryan's jumping in saying nice, nice. Derek Brown. The red prism parallel. Went to the Panthers. Was there for the Lions. They went with Jeff Okuda. Uh, I thought actually for a good portion of the draft, lead up that Derek Brown would be the guy ultimately not the guy stair masters Julian Edelman one of the inserts you can get inside 
Uh, Ryan saying, Ugh, Dennis is watching from Pensacola, Florida. Ryan, we're going to get that Mahomes now. Montage, Khalil Mack. Let me know where you're watching from. Um, so here we go. We just opened up a pack of the other ones, but Jerry Judy, that was retail. This is Hobby, a Jerry Judy rookie card here from Mosaic Football. Barry Sanders again. So if you follow me on Twitter, um, I like to do giveaways. I think it'd be fun to do a Barry Sanders giveaway. So stay with me. Maybe we can do that later this week or early next week. Harrison Smith Pro Bowl card and a uh, Kenneth Murray Mosaic rookie card. Terry wants a Drew Brees. So that is pack one. We are opening up Mosaic Football from Panini. Chris is jumping in watching from Livonia. Tell me where you're watching from. If you're cracking any cards lately, let me know if you've had any big pulls. Or if you're like me usually and you've had bad luck over the years. Allen Robinson, St. Mary's. Andrew says retweet, baby. Tony Gonzalez, they've got Hall of Famers in here. Ezekiel Elliott, Lawrence Taylor. Juju, nobody asked, but I'll tell you, he's on my fantasy team. Jason's watching from Livonia. Uh, John is watching from Detroit. we got a Saquon Refractor, Prism Refractor. Sean Jackson, red prism. Lions opponent this week. Boy, does he look fantastic through two games already. Kyler Murray, a great first overall pick. Alex is watching from Shelby Township. Ryan hit a Zion Optimum. optimum here we go. Hit a prism. Holly, wow. Ray says Kyler Murray. Terry Bradshaw, men of mystery. So it's another prism there. Wonder how much Barry Sanders rookie card is worth. You can look him up. AJ Dillon. NFL debut. So they've got him in the Packers uniform there. Some Photoshop work, man. I give the people at Panini a lot of credit. Um, I know they do the rookie premiere, but Isaiah Simmons, another guy right there at the top of the board that a lot of people thought maybe the Lions would take. He falls to the Cardinals in that first round. Emmett Smith. Looks like we're getting a couple rookies per pack. Um, they're really nice looking cards, everybody. We're really digging this. Uh, appreciate you being with us here on this Thursday night. We've got our high school game of the week that will be with you uh, from West Bloomfield tomorrow. West Bloomfield against Southfield A&T. And as we crack these open, David Montgomery, Mark Brunel, Chris Godwin, Saquon Barkley, Max Crosby, Eastern Michigan. What a pick he has turned out to be for the Raiders, right? Watching him on Monday Night Football just absolutely disrupt the Saints he is, he is a dynamite player. He's ruthless, man. He is tough out there. Here's a nice one. Jalen Hurts, Prism. Is that the checkerboard, right? Jalen Hurts, Eagles. That's a nice-looking card. Drew Locke, Red Prism. Tough to see him go down early in this season. He was fun to watch towards the end of last year. All right, who wanted the Gardner Minshew? I'm going to show you here. Steve's watching from Rochester. We gave you the shout-out earlier, Steve. Uh, we love supporting local. And you guys do it great, man. Steve um, from Rochester Sports Cards and Memorabilia. Blue Chips, Calvin Ridley. And then here is, I believe this is one of the uh, hobby exclusive stained glass insert. Gardner Minshew. Mustache and all. I mean, that is just, look at that card. Woo! In person, it looks even cooler. Really neat idea. Okay, Lions fans, let's go. DeAndre Swift, NFL debut. That's a nice looking one, huh? Tough, tough, beyond tough first week for him. But uh, everyone around him says he's going to bounce back. We're getting rookie cards. John Elway, Brian Edwards. So as we crack this again, let me know where you're watching from. Chris is jumping in saying Minshew Mania. He was fun, man, last year, huh? Let's see if he can replicate a little bit of that tonight and uh, beyond. So we're on our fourth pack here. We have pulled an autograph. Not a big name, um, you know, Joe Burrow or Tua. But you can't get the big name every time. It would be nice. Stained glass is nice, Mike and, uh, and, and Ryan both say. Ricky Williams, how good is this guy, huh? 
Russell Wilson MVP numbers again a second straight year never has received an MVP an MVP vote which is crazy but the talent in this league really speaks to that Ryan's watching from Franklin thanks for letting us know where a Marlon Mack prism oh we got a nice one coming up here so a Chase Claypool red NFL debut rookie prism Jeff what up B-Rad he said just tune in we pulled one autograph it was a rookie autograph um you know, not the Joe Burrow we're looking for, but here's a Miami-Jacksonville update. Miami's up 14-7. This is a nice-looking one, everybody. The Mosaic Montage. Kelvin Johnson. Who's going to win it all in Wisner? Ken Cam wants to know on Saturday. The Warriors, Brother Rice. Emmett Smith, Men of Mastery. I know a lot of the breaks that a lot of the big card collectors watch go much more quickly, and they buzz through, and they go right to the hits, but... Uh, that's not what we do here. We're enjoying it, moment by moment. So Denzel Mims, Megatron, the call out from Jason, Henry Ruggs the third NFL debut, and then uh, Chase Claypool, base rookie. Andrew said we're gonna see you next week. That'd be nice. Jeff wants to say that's knife, and then he says that's nice. Panini Mosaic, Brad Galley with you here inside the Seven Sports Cave. Coach Batani watching. Sean Watson got himself a fat new deal before the season started. Tough schedule for the Texans, man, the way they've started things off. Here is our Patrick Mahomes base card. Right on the front of the product and now into our hands. Mike wants to, uh, he loves that, that Kelvin Johnson card. We'll talk, Mike. Leave a comment there and, and I'll stay in touch with you here. Maybe we'll make a trade. I like trading. Mike Evans. Prism, my brother, if he's watching this, is going to say, you draft him every year in fantasy. None of you care. To be fair, he doesn't either because he beats me every year in fantasy anyways. Max Crosby, Eastern Michigan Red Prism. These prisms really pop. Khalil Mack, another insert of him. We've had two now. We had a montage of him as well. Here's a Prism montage, Sam Darnold. You know I don't score goals, Carl. Okay, Lamar Jackson MVPs, DeAndre Swift, and a Jordan Love. Ryan, all I know is he's on my fantasy team, Mahomes is, and he did what he needed to do for me, my friend. And I know he was concerned about it, too. So each pack ends with a base rookie card, and uh, we are through the first half of the box, five packs. We got our one rookie autograph. So we still have, like, the Mahomes one-of-one one parallel autograph, or maybe a Tom Brady, like, black prism. That'd be sweet, one-of-one. One. Josh Allen, Eli Manning. So we have a redemption. Justin Jefferson, rookie mosaic. Who's pulled a redemption from this? And tell me what the uh, rookie autographs mosaic look like. Justin Jefferson. That's pretty cool. So we have a redemption card. So those are our two autographs out of the pack now. Out of the box now. Miles Garrett base, Lamar Jackson prism, maybe a Frank Gore, Ryan says. Oh, Man of Mastery, another Kelvin Johnson card. I love that they're popping so much Kelvin in here. Emmett Smith Overdrive. Yeah, Terry wants to know what the redemption is. It is an autograph redemption card, so apparently they couldn't get him in time to sign for it. So Justin Jefferson is going to be our uh, rookie redemption. Randy Moss Hall of Fame card. Patrick Queen. And there you go and totally redeem yourself. Ryan says rookie redemption should be an on-card auto. Yeah, the stickers aren't great, but uh, to me, the way I've collected my whole life, um, if it means getting a card, honestly, a little bit cheaper for my own collection because it's a sticker, I'm okay with it. But the on-card stuff is really, really nice. Um... Look at how just, I mean, that's what you're getting out of each pack. <clears throat> Khalil Mack, Gardner Minshew. Who wanted to see some Gardner Minshew with the full stash going on? Miles Garrett. How about this? For your Sunday NFL, Howie Long. Terry wants to know if we get uniform relics in these. Um, in most Panini products, yes, but this one, no. It's all about the parallels, the prisms, uh, the autographs, the rookies, and then uh, like Dan Marino, a lot of the retro guys here. And they're doing a lot of the inserts. Jefferson is a good pull. I know it. Um, it's just the redemption part of it, right? I mean, we love 
we love seeing the, the autographs when we pull it, but Jefferson, no doubt. I mean, it's an exciting, these boxes are, uh, are flying off shelves if they're not already gone from your local shop. UD Premier Hockey, Ray says is coming out. Super cuts, how long? Menser says awesome cards, they really are. Kyler Murray, Red Prism. Woo! <laughs> That's a nice one. So this is, I think, our third or fourth DeAndre Swift card. Introductions. Dan Marino. Montage. So that one Sam Darnold we had was a prism of montages. Another Chase Claypool. Menser's jumping in saying that's nice. Derek Brown again. And uh, Gabriel Davis. Red on the Cardinals. I know, really pops, huh? So we have our two autographs. Um, the silver prisms, I guess I'm ignorant. Um, and I apologize if I've missed on a few of them, but I, those are the, basically like the refractors essentially, right? I think. So we have three packs left. This is the third to last pack. Jeff Saturday. It's Michigan football fans. Charles Woodson. Carl jumping in. Now, Carl's a friend of the program. Um, he's an optimistic guy. He says Kyler Murray card will be worth a lot more after he runs all over the Lions. Steve jumping in saying that's a $50 Kyler card. Uh, does it tell you how many of the each prism cards or on the back of the card? I don't know if they're numbered. I don't think so. Uh, All-time best card, I'm being asked here. And Carl's, Andrew's booing uh, Carl here. All-time best card. Um, when I was in high school, um, I had never gotten straight A's my whole life. And my parents, kind of as like a joking incentive, said to me if I got straight A's that I could go to the card shop and get a box. I don't know if they ever thought it would actually happen, but I got it. And I had like honors classes too. So, um, and I didn't do it just for the box. Like I, I decided to push myself a little extra sophomore year. And within the box, I pulled a triple jersey card of, um, of Gordy Howe, Steve Eiserman, and Henrik Zetterberg. And I believe it was Zetterberg's rookie year. That was cool. Just on a personal level, right? I was like 14 years old. That was neat. Tyler Eifert. Red parallel. Red prism. The reds pop. I know people are digging the reds. Um, so there's our red Tyler Eifert. So we got the, the montage Darnold prism. And now here it is, um, just the base. Okay, Matthew Stafford, Stair Masters. And here's our uh, first Justin Herbert card, NFL debut rookie. And Terry wants to know if I still have that card. I do, I do. Michael Pittman Jr. And here is Justin Jefferson, of whom we got the autograph card. Joey says, uh, would love to send you some free sport retail box for you to open. Okay. We love interacting with everybody. And if it creates content here with everybody, we love it, man. And we do our giveaways. We've got a giveaway going right now, some Michigan State cards on, on Twitter. Johnny's waving. Mike's saying nice. Larry Fitzgerald. John Elway. Um, that's our second Elway. The other one was in the, the uniforms from when they won uh, the Super Bowls. That's from when they lost them. So yeah, that's the silver, right? Cam Akers, Prism, Checkerboard, nice looking card. Oh, hello. Red Prism, Saquon Barkley. That's a slick card. Poor guy, man, can't catch a break. Behind that old line and then the uh, ACL. He's a stud. That picture is from the reverse. It looks like Ford Field. They didn't, did they play here last year, right? Yes, yes. Yes, that was the last game the Lions won, October 27th last year. Terry Bradshaw, Men of Misery, Men of Mastery. In it to win it, Emmett Smith insert card. I believe, is that a, I don't know if that's a hobby exclusive or not. Lamar Jackson, Van Jefferson. I believe no relation to Bob Vance of Vance Refrigeration. Men's are saying cards have come a long way. They really have. Here's a nice one. C.D. Lamb, NFL debut. KJ Hamler. So 
So we're down to our last pack. We have pulled both autographs, but uh, crazier things have happened on the last pack. Thanks again for everybody joining us here. Uh, my name is Brad Galley. If you're just joining us for the first time, I am the sports director, uh, anchor and reporter here within WXYZ Detroit. And uh, I have been working here now since 2011. And I love working in my hometown. I love interacting with everybody here on social media and growing up collecting cards. It's really cool to see the industry boom. If you haven't already, I put it in the post, the story we did. Um, it's got over 30,000 views and, and I'd love you to consider taking a look at it about just understanding how much the hobby has grown in the last decade, decade and a half, and especially during the pandemic of people latching on to the long-term investments that some of these cards can provide. Joey wants to know if I think Megatron becomes the first ballot Hall of Famer. It's a tough class, but I think he does. I think he makes it as a first ballot Hall of Famer. Sony Michelle, Darius Slayton, Mark Brunel, Prism, the Refractor. Okay, here's our rookie red prism, and it's Patrick Queen, LSU, with the Ravens. That's a nice card. That is a slick card right there. The rookie red prism. Uh, Stairmasters of Lamar Jackson, but then a prism Matthew Stafford. Stairmasters. Val, good to be with you. John's watching with us. Cole Komet, rookie debut. Joshua Kelly, rookie. And our last card, Lynn Bowden Jr. Ryan wants to know if I got any of the Topps Project 2020. I did. I got a couple for the fun of it. But, uh, man, those prices were starting to go crazy when on the flipping game, and they came back down to earth. So it's nice that people are scooping those now, really just kind of like for their collections. I thank you again, everybody. We'll go back through and show you kind of the – I guess we'll go with just the autographs for now. I'm gonna to have to get back down to our office. I could show you the reds. You wanna see the reds? Probably should show you the reds. Darrington Evans. And then we had um, a redemption. Justin Jefferson out of LSU. Mentor, I appreciate the compliments. Um, thank you to everybody for being with us here. It's always fun. Catch us tonight, 7 Action News at 10 on TV20. We do it every night. It's an hour-long newscast on TV20 um, at 10 o'clock. And then we go at 11 o'clock on Channel 7. Jeff says, nice autograph. It is. We're very happy. Again, Darrington Evans. Um, just these cards are just really, really nice. Really nice. Panini does a great job. Um, Thank you to everybody for watching. And again, support local, find your local card shops. There aren't a ton in Southeast Michigan. So Google Maps it, look it up, check it out. Uh, and again, Rochester Sports Cards and Memorabilia, our pal Steve will take care of you. Um, he does a great job. John says, come see the shop. Okay, good deal. Let's do it. Thank you, everybody. I always like going back through the comments. So if you've got anything to add in here, uh, jump on board and join us. Hi, Garolyn. Hi, David. Back at you. Jeff says, speaking of, I better get back to cutting that show. One of our editors in-house here, and Terry's an editor as well. Uh, guys, let's get back to work together, huh? On three. Ready, break. See you, everybody.